to be dyeing my kinky mongolian curly hair from icy hair i decided that i would dye it red instead of leaving it black um i don't have a frontal or anything so i'm gonna just be dyeing it probably until about here since i'm gonna be having my own leave out out on top of it so and I don't want to dye my hair red either. So, yeah. So, I got my three bundles. Uh, 22, 24, 24. And then I got some gloves here. Three boxes of high color from L'Oreal in the color red. Um, I hope three boxes is enough. We'll see. And then I got 40 volume developer. And my mixing bowl. I cannot find my brush right now so I'm gonna use my hands I've seen many people use their hands and it comes out really good even better than using a brush so let's get started so I'm gonna start off by mixing up the color uh, one second. So I poured the, the developer in there and I'm adding the first container of red. Sorry, I don't have the proper thing to hold my camera, so I have to do this with one hand. Ooh. Okay, hold on. Nice little tube. Got some more mixing to do. That's what it's looking like right now. So, this is the dye. probably not supposed to be this thick but I don't know I don't know we just gonna see what happens y'all oh it's supposed to be smooth and creamy mm. is this smooth and creamy I mean it looks smooth and creamy it looks not smooth but it's creamy for sure right so I'm gonna just start off with the bottom and just put it on the bottom of the hair. Got my AC on because this stuff is smelling. I'll come back. I put it the red all over this from this first bundle. Up until here, I kept it tied because I'm I'm leaving my leave out out once again, and my hair is black dark brown so i don't want to have to dye my hair so i'm only just dying like from here down and i open up the inside turn the inside of it so that this could be an even somewhat kind of even color <laughs> yeah i'm pretty sure this curl pattern is going to change a little bit Okay, so I did the first bundle, second bundle, and I'm making sure to get in between so I can get all the hair. I can feel that the hair is heated up. I don't know why I didn't cut these tags off. I really don't. Don't ask me why. Let's see, I wonder if this one is changing already. Yeah. All right, on to the next bundle. I'm just dipping it. Can you get that? Yeah. I'm just dipping it and applying it to the hair like this. I'm not doing anything special. It doesn't have to be completely even. 
It'll be cute if it comes out like with some spots are brighter than the other, some are darker than the other. I'm okay with that. But I can tell that the curls are loosening. Putting it all through the hair, combing it through the middle. Okay, so I took a few strands out of each bundle and I'm putting it on some aluminum. I'm going to add the rest of the dye on here and I would like for these parts to come out a little bit brighter just to give it like some type of like, I don't know, highlight, like a red highlight, like I want this to be brighter than the rest of the hair. I think that will be really cute just to have like little areas that pop more. This hair is hot y'all. It's so hot. I hope this comes out beautiful. that I literally used all three tubes and put it on these on this hair good thing I didn't do to the to the top because I would have ran out I would have definitely ran out so it says leave it on for 30 minutes so I'm going to leave this on for 30 minutes. Sorry, I think I was showing y'all mostly my leg in the past bag than the hair. But, yeah. Let's just leave this to do what it's going to do for 30 minutes. And then we'll wash it out. All right. Okay, so I washed the hair out, the hair out. I washed the dye out and, oh wait, my hands are by the camera. It's, it's red, but it's not as bright as I want it to be. That's it in front of the light. <clears throat> so, yeah there we go that's clear it's not as red as i want it to be the ends are brighter so what i'm gonna have to do is bleach it first <laughs> it might destroy the curl pattern hopefully not I'll bleach it first and then re-dye it again. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm doing this again, you guys. Because it's dry now and look how it came out. It's not as bright as I want it to be. Oh, I got some powder on the 
on the hair. So, I got me a little brush now. So I'm just gonna mix this up. I don't want it to be too thick. I want it to be a little thinnish because I don't want it to be too bright red. So, let's see. We get all in the sides. Make sure ain't no clumps on the bottom. I feel like when you do it with your hands, you can spread a lot less, but take it like a long way, if that makes sense. I feel like the brush be collecting a lot of the bleach. And you can't get it off of there. And then I can also get it like in here with my fingers easier than with the brush. already all over the back. Makes it easier and faster. All right, so I put the bleach on all three bundles and look. I'm in the way of the light. Come over here. It's already getting bright red, y'all. It's only been like five minutes. <laughs> but yes, it's already bright red. That happened real fast. And it's red because, you know, the red was already on there from the dye. So it kind of just lift the red. So technically, I don't really have to put the color on there again, but I'm gonna do it anyway, cause I want it to be nice and bright. 
wash the hair well not really wash i just rinsed it with um some water and got all the bleach out so now this is the pretty red that it's giving it's giving us real pretty red right now and i'm extremely excited about it all right so i'm gonna throw the dye back on here and then i'll come back i'll be back y'all i finished dyeing the hair red the dye is on there now i'm gonna let it sit for like 30 minutes all together it's already been about 20 so i'm gonna just let it sit for another 15 but it looks so good now. Look at it. All right, I'll be back, y'all. Look how red it is now. Look how pretty. So it is like an ombre effect, lighter on the bottom and it gets darker towards the top. The roots are still dark. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. This is gonna be so beautiful. I'll show y'all again once it dries. And yeah. So pretty. Oh boy. My hair has fully dried and look how beautiful it is y'all it's so pretty and that's like some parts are light some parts are dark just like how I wanted it to come out it's just so pretty so I am not installing this myself <laughs> I'm having it installed later so once it is completely done and installed in my head you guys will see how it looks 